It's your Woody Jackie Dempson. Check it out, man. Now, Rich Hubby Kwan. Now, if you guys don't know about this guy, this guy's a motherfucking legend. Now, for the last 12 months, he's been kind of going through a lot of shit. I mean, his dad got shot. Him and Thugalicious, they allegedly dated. Then they broke up, of course. And then, of course, on some scorned lover shit, young Thugalicious called him Bitch Homie Kwan. But he wasn't done there, okay? I mean, Rich Homie Kwan then debut a new dance, which shows him kind of moving around stage like he got a goddamn yeast infection. Basically moving like a moving fruit roll-up, okay? Like a goddamn juicy fruit. Now, he had one song that came out. He said it got leaked. He said it wasn't supposed to leave the studio. It showed him rapping, or you could hear him rapping about some rape shit. Talking about, listen, man, I'm about to rape some bitches. You're like, huh? Now, people were like, what the hell is this? Now, he cleared it up by saying, yo, this shit never left the studio. It was an incomplete thought. Now, a couple weeks after that, there's another song coming out right now. He has a song out. It's called Day One. Click the link in the description. Go check it out. You can hear the whole thing. But pretty much, he's back rapping about raping chicks again. Now, I'm going to read you the lyrics, and then you guys tell me what do you interpret, because he's probably going to say, oh, I didn't mean it like that. You guys can tell me what you think, okay? Now, the lyric goes like this. It says, chances ain't shit unless you take one. Mansion full of bitches, I'm a rape one, okay? Now, that was a line, but of course, the worst part about it was really the ad-lib. In the ad-lib, he says, I'm gonna fuck these hoes. Now, listen, god damn, this man sounds like the guy on Worldstar talking about, listen, I'm about to fuck your wife, but check this out, because some people, and a lot of people who are defending him, maybe they like his music, or maybe they just don't see a problem with it, they're saying, what's the problem? This is just good music. This is good music. Why the fuck y'all talking about rape? Now, I mean, to a certain point, they got a point, okay? Because some people are saying it's hypocritical to find or have an issue when he says rape, while the most rappers, okay, about 90% of rappers, including Rich Homie Kwan, when they're rapping, they're rapping about killing people, they're rapping about doing all type of shit, immoral shit. If you're not finding problems with raps about um, murders, why the fuck are you so bent out of shape about a lyric about rape? I would think murder would be maybe on the same level, if not a little bit worse than rape, okay? Now, to some people, they're appalled. Oh, my God. Oh, no. No. R Rich Hubby Quad is raping bitches. Now, calm, calm the fuck down, okay? Calm the fuck down. Do I think he's raping chicks? I don't know. I can't swear for him one way or the other. My, this could be a fetish. I don't know. It's two songs that came out within, like, a couple of weeks of each other. I'm not sure what the fuck he was thinking about when he rapped these lyrics. So I can't even, I can't defend him, nor I can't, like, really just say, dog, you on some real other shit. However, people are really sparking um, a little outrage, a mini outrage, about the lyrics. Now, the crazy thing about it, or you could say the good thing about it for him is that if it was any rapper, like if it was Drake, if it was a Jay-Z... Jay-Z's tied to so many things, you could boycott it. If this came out with uh, Jay-Z, you'd be like, yo, I ain't fucking with title, right? If this came out for Drake, he can't be the global ambassador for uh, the Toronto Raptors. But with rich homie Quan, he's not signed to nowhere. So who the fuck would you boycott? You can't even boycott a record label. He's not signed to nobody. He's pretty much independent, which means he has no corporate ties, at least that we know of. That could be completely jeopardized by something he said on a record. So the most you could do is just not buy his music or just not fuck with him, okay? You can't really censor him too much. He probably would offer apology, but you can't censor him too much. I mean, what are you going to do? Go to iTunes and say, well, you put his music up for sale? They're going to be like, fuck out of here. We're here to make money. We ain't here to, to censor people on what they say. So what do you guys think about this? What's your complete thoughts? Do you think it's out of line? Or do you just think it's good music? A lot of people are saying this is some good music. Some people said this is a crack. Okay. You guys going to comment box make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at iMacademics. And on Twitter. I'm out.